Hello folks, this is Fuzzfinger. Welcome back to another episode of Nino Cooney. And we're going to continue today with our slover of optional side quests and errands that we've been doing for the past few episodes. Uh, we are of course ready to move on to Chapter 5 story-wise whenever we want to. But I do want to get all these side quests done. Uh, we've just completed a whole load of errands. And also in the previous episode we did 5 bounty hunts. So our errand log is empty today but if you come over to this island here which is called the hermit shell I'll just show it you on the map then there is another side quest we can do and you are going to need to bring some items here to complete this so we'll disembark here at the ship there's a forage point on your left here but I've already grabbed it and there's also a hidden treasure which also I have taken down here but again I've taken that so I won't be getting it today now the items you're going to need are as follows. Make sure you get all these items before you come here. There's no enemies here, so you don't need to worry about having to fight. You're going to need two well-worn swords. Uh, you, if you don't have those in your inventory already, then you can purchase them from the Weapons Master uh, in Ding Dong Dell. And you are going to need one carrot cake and two carnation cakes. Uh, if you don't have those, then... You can just actually buy the ingredients to make them from most of the uh, hootiques around the cities. And you'll have the formulas in your log in order to see what the ingredients are. They're not expensive, they're quite easy to make. And you're also going to need, which I've been going on about for a while now, so hopefully you've got this, a nap cap. If you haven't got one, then just head over to the Golden Grove. They have a 25% capture chance, so that shouldn't take you too long. And you're also going to need a... If I go over to it, a potty, which you'll capture in the seas, where the uh, whale-type creatures swim around outside of Castaway Cove. Again, this one didn't take me very long to catch at all. You're also going to require... Uh, where are we? Oh yeah, I've got four, but you only need three. Three times sprockets. Now, if you don't have three sprockets, then go to uh, Autumnia, which is outside Hamelin. And you can steal them from the uh, creatures there, basically. So, Sprogcogs uh, are the name of the creatures. Make sure you steal them, or they do drop them, but you need three. And I believe that's all the items we need. And we will be using the Nature's Tongue spell in here as well. So, let's see what happens. Uh, there's two chests as well we can collect. A purple chest which we can't open yet. And also a green chest somewhere. Where's the green chest? Uh, I'll tell you what we'll do. We've got the spell now, so we may as well do chart chests. Ah. It's over there somewhere. There we go. And somewhere in the water. There it is, look. The green chest. And it's a healing tear gem. So, useful if you want one of your uh, uh, magic casting familiars to be able to cast healing. And so now we need to speak to some of these uh, kind folk here. But not until we cast the good old nature's tongue. And they're going to want various items off us. So I said you need two well-worn swords. And you get a poison pinch gem as a reward. And there's some more here, look. These are called Nyads. I think that's how you pronounce this anyway. And these are going to want the cakes that we made. Treats, treats, treats. <laughs> so some of them want carnation cake and some of them want carrot cakes. And we have them all ready. So we get a vial of Sage's secret. Not too bad at all. 
Over here we'll see a Doom Cap. And he's feeling all lonely over here by himself. So if we speak to him, he tells us he's lonely being the only mushroom here on the island. But fortunately for him, we have a nap cat with us. And we obtain five glow caps for that. And apparently we still get to keep our nap cap. So if you want to use it, you haven't got to capture anymore. So that's three down. Now somewhere in the centre of the cave is a clinkety clank. Uh, so we'll cast nature's tongue again. And surprise, surprise, this fellow wants the sprockets. Oi, come back. And we get a thunder spark gem for doing that. And if you don't think these rewards are uh, worth farming the materials that we've been collecting, then uh, you do get a reward at the end once you've handed in all of them. And we need to speak to this guy here. The Jack Potty. Yeah, gone past nature's tongue. No, not levitate, you... Oh, I'm not going to insult poor Oliver. He's only doing what he's told to do. Well, we've got his potty for him. Let's hope he appreciates it. Three bottles of pixie dew. Now... want to speak to this guy. This is the guy we can farm, by the way, Toko, uh, on Ugly Duck Island for lots of experience. So if you haven't been doing that, you might want to. And you can only speak to this one once you've uh, handed in the items to all the others. We obtain a name tag. Which will allow us to change our familiar's names. So, a nice little interesting reward there. That is the overall reward for coming here. But, since we're going for as close to 100%, if not 100% completion, it's important that we uh, do that optional side quest. And, it, to be honest, it doesn't take that long to gather those ingredients. So, yeah, it is the only way you can rename your familiars, as far as I'm aware, uh, after your initial collecting of them. So, cool, cool. And next we're going to be heading over to, if we go to travel, uh, the Temple of Trials, where we're going to experience the Colosseum, which could very well be fun. At least it might be fun. Not the Colosseum, sorry, it's actually called the Solosseum. <laughs> and we could have a tough battle ahead of us. The way the Solosseum works is that you start off at rank E and once you complete the battles you move to rank D and after that to rank C and so on and so on, rank S being the highest. Now it is actually quite difficult at the moment. It is mostly an end game uh, adventure this is. Oh, right, these are a couple of uh, tickets that I got from DLC. You can get them for free off the, uh, I think it's the Sony website, actually, not the Nino Kuni website. You can get a Drago Familiar and a Hurley Familiar. I haven't actually handed them in yet. Because, to be honest, from what I've heard, both those Familiars uh, suck. So we're looking for Sage Solomon. We have to first uh, do rank E before we can move on to rank D. So there's the ranks. We're only really going to have a chance at rank E at the minute. You can't, incidentally, uh, use any items in the Colosseum. And there are three consecutive battles in rank E. As you go up to the higher ranks, you get even more battles. And if you complete all three without being killed, then you get a reward. A better reward depending on which rank you complete. 
but for Van Key, we actually get a decent uh, weapon for a familiar. Round one. The Dow. What was that? I didn't even read it. So. We need to make sure our MP lasts. I'm going to start off by casting fire. Like I said. Uh, no, I'm not going to cast that actually. We're going to cast smash hit. On the rough. And like I said, this guy could potentially cause a fair bit of damage. And we can't heal either, apart from with magic. Now the battles do get harder as we go on, so we need to try and get this down as quick as we can. That's one down already. So I am just trying to save our MP here. Hopefully uh, Esther will heal us, if we're lucky. That was a waste of a firewall, if I don't mind saying. By the girlfriend there. But we've done okay. Look, we've pretty much finished on full health. We've got two more battles to go. So make good use of your gems. It's a gift. We win. Well, we win the first battle. So if you can hear that, it's just my drink. Babana merchants. Now I'm going to switch over to the girlfriend for this fight. Esther, simply because if we can spam them with fireball or firewall, then we could actually potentially do a whole lot of damage to them. Because these things are weak to fire. So it would be nice to get a heal please. There we go. Right now let's switch over to uh, Swain so that well I was going to say so that the fire woman, the girlfriend doesn't take much damage but that's okay. Best to heal up I think before we uh, kill this last one. So we'll switch on over to Esther. It's my turn. Songs you hear your swain, please. Oh, 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 grab that. There we go. And now we've got one more battle, the hard battle. We won! You don't get any XP, by the way, in the Solosseum. Now let's see what we've got to face next. The second battle was definitely harder. Oh, it's the guy who keeps losing his diary. The Guildbergs. Well, this could be interesting. Now you want to cast the... Kill the Danglerfish first because it's got the least amount of health. So... Not a bad option to go for, get him out of the way. As you can see, if we can kill him quickly, we might stand a chance here. Come on, die, die, die. Slash and burn. Yeah, let's do slash and burn. I'm gonna go for the infant. Oh, that's nasty, that is. Feel sorry for him having to face the slash and burn. And one more. Remember, I am level 47, so depending on how much you've leveled with me, uh, this could actually be potentially extremely challenging. So don't worry too much if you can't complete even rank here at the moment, just come back later and you'll be fine. But it's cool if you can, because like I said, you get the Dragon Tusk. <laughs> and we can now access rank D. Although rank D is going to be tough, so I don't know whether we should try that right now. Or whether we should wait until later. Let's see if we get our prize now, as we should. Thank you, thank you. By the way, if you complete rank E again, you don't get another uh, dragon tusk. Oh, we got an achievement for that. That's not too bad then, is it? Not too bad at all. 
And it gives us full hit points and full mana. Let's have a look at who can use the Dragon Tusk. If anybody, of course. No, nope, that's a dried spear. Oh, well that's annoying, we don't actually have any uh, familiars who can use the Dragon Tusk at the minute. Ah, unless it's one of these. Which is possible. Nope, don't want an iron shield. Sorry about this, just want to make sure that we're not missing anything here. Okay, I guess we've got nobody who can use it at the moment then. That's a shame. Since we worked so hard for it. Shall we try the next rank while we're here? I mean, I'd say let's just go for it, shall we? This would definitely be the last rank we can do at the moment. For this we'll get a hot-blooded badge, I'm not sure what that is, and 5,000 uh, guilders. By the way, if you complete rank E again, you'll get three cheeseburgers for every time you complete it. So, I've not got my hopes up for being able to do this now. This really is meant to be for much later in the game, I think. But since they were over-leveled, we might stand a chance. I was saying might. There's no guarantees, of course. Plus, I haven't actually read up on any tactics. So I'm just going to go for it and see what happens. Uh, yeah, let's save some MP. Do we get absolutely hammered? Not necessarily, although they are uh, taking a bit to get down. Smoke bomb, I don't like the sound of that. Please miss. Mm, missed on one. Come on, get these cats down, please. One more. Oh, oh, Swain needs a heal. Biggs, do something, you stupid thing, whatever you are. You stupid big horn. Oh, well, at least managed to get another green orb at the end. We could control the Lumberwood. He doesn't do a lot of damage, but heck, he tanks like there's no tomorrow. He really does. Castaway Cover Girls. Sounds like some sort of uh, 90s girl group. And it's a bunch of water stuff, so I guess if you attack them with Storm, then you're laughing, really. Uh, let's go for Lumberwood, see if we can get some tanking in here. So the heal on Swain. If you go for all-out attack. Then Lumberwood uh, might be able to do something. Now, look, his damage is. Oh, his damage isn't too bad. He's doing 40 points of damage. But he's just not taking any, which is awesome. If you can get two down, which will be hard if the Lumberwood sort of just strolls all over the place, then we'll heal up our friends. In fact, it looks like our friends could use a heal right around now, especially Oliver. So let's go to Oliver. I'll do my best. He can heal Swain. Obviously we need to get them as close to full health as we can. Uh, maybe Gemma can heal them a little bit better. Ah, oh, that's good. Now we're back in business. And they're all dead. Wonderful. So we've got one more round, if we can do it. The second round was tough, we had to do quite a bit of healing there. But now we can go all out with magic attacks as well. Remember I did say at the start we can't use items in battle. So MP is really the, uh, the trick here. Now, what's this guy? Oh, he's on his own. That's interesting. What's he going to have for us, do you think?
Watch out, he's really strong. Ah, it's this guy. We fought him earlier, didn't we? And it's a task. I'm guessing he's going to be a little bit tougher now, though. Uh, Esther, I'll go I'll do right, we'll use Big Horn first. And Slash and Burn him. 81 points of damage. Not brilliant. Water Cannon. Try and avoid that. Because that'll do a few hundred points of damage. Right. If we go to Swain... And now... Oh, he hasn't got much MP, has he? Let's see if we can get anything done here. Like Fireball. What was that? 97 or something? Okay, we'll stick with Swain for now. And go for... Uh, rot shot, which is good because hopefully it'll poison him. Ready? Come on, shoot. And he should lose health now. At least that's the theory. Oh, why am I casting mug shot? Doesn't do any damage. Right, Oliver's got 57 health. Let's go to Oliver. More specifically, let's go to Gemma. Move, Gemma, move, 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 move. Oh, don't worry about healing me. I was going to heal myself. Move, 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 move. Gemma seems to be tanking here, which isn't a good thing. Yeah, this is tough. This is tough. Uh, should we see if we can get some tanking done on Esther? Because we've got the lumber wood. Ouch! That water cannon is nasty. Oh, wait, leave Oliver alone and attack me. Get back over to Oliver. See that water cannon, we need to avoid it like the plague, we really do. What have we got? Uh, his spells are rubbish, aren't they? Yeah, this guy's got a lot of health. Okay, let's go over to Big Horn. Oh, water cannon, move, move, move. Swaying, stupid boy. Mm, yeah, he's very resilient, which is the problem. Very resilient. That means we can only do uh, magic. He's down to half health, but the problem is, what have we got in the way of uh, MP? I would say, well, probably around about nothing, in fact. Uh, who should we use? Esther's got very little MP, Swain's got very little MP. Hmm. Go on then, we'll try Esther. I can't see us doing this, to be honest, though, now that we've run out of uh, MP on all characters. Lumberwood's recharging. Should we try the ray? Ah, gold, gold, gold. Somebody get the gold? Oh, what did the bloody cat get it for? In the strength. Oh, look, the ray does some damage to him. Not much, mine, but some. Oliver, get out of there. Come on, come on, just get him down, get him down. We just water can and move. Come on, just pummel him, pummel him, pummel him. Move, 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 move. Or just stand there and take the hit. Stupid thing. Let's bring Lumberwood out, shall we? Yeah, he's not doing much, but... Okay, let's go to... Uh... Swain. Allow me. He's bone dude recharging, but Tinny is a good tank, and he's done it. Look at that, the skill, and Oliver will come back to life. Don't worry about that. So I don't think we're going to do rank C. In fact, unless you're over leveled, you're probably not even going to do rank D there. But we've cleared it, which is awesome. So hopefully now we can collect another reward. Come on, give me my reward. Me want reward, please. A hot blooded badge. And we've unlocked the next rank. And I'll just check, yes, we're at full health. What can we do with a hot blooded badge? 
Uh, it increases movement speed. Which I guess is interesting. And it would also increase Ollie's attack and magic attack. Could anybody else wear badges? Well, Esther could. So can Swain. Can any of our familiars wear badges? Yes. Now that could be useful actually for Biggs. I say that because his movement speed sucks. So I'm going to give it to him. It would be nice if he can run around a little bit faster now. So thank you for that. Uh, Colosseum, Solosseum, whatever you are. And with that said, we are now going to travel to the Tombstone Trail. And have a look at the... Uh, What's it called? The Crypt Casino. I'm not going to spend long there though because this episode's already getting close to 30 minutes. And there's not a whole lot we can do at the casino just yet. But if we get this done now, then we can crack on with the story in the next episode. Because we've already done all the optional stuff by now. Here we go, look. We'll go and have a look round. I've never been here before, so I've no idea what to expect. Yeah, remember, we can access this place because we collected the skeleton key earlier. Funny, funny. So there's four types of games here. All of them are gambling games. And you can purchase chips from here, I presume. Oh, no, this is Platoon. We need to buy at least 200 pounds. 200 pounds, 200 chips. Uh, no, that's okay. Where do we buy our chips from? Unless we get them from the guy who was just talking to us. Also, a lot of the prizes here we can't access yet. I'd say we're quite important. Ah, here we go. This guy looks promising. We have a look at the prizes. A lot of them aren't available yet. Rank A and Rank S. Although we could buy uh, a weapon upgrade, a bluster blade, for three of our familiars. Great Sage's Secret. Uh, couple of familiars, a golden tin man and an idler, medal of agility and a few things so the blade looks interesting but we'd need to uh, buy 10,000 worth of chips or win 10,000 chips and at the minute we wouldn't be able to do it I don't think. Let's see how many we could buy. If a thousand is five thousand gold, then we'd need fifty thousand gold. We could technically buy that sword, but I think we'll stick with a thousand chips for now. And we'll have a very quick play. Right, so what we've got here, Blackjack. Okay, let's have a go, Blackjack. I haven't checked the rules or anything. I think I know how to play Blackjack. Uh, should we go for it, 100, or should we just go for 50? Right, let's play. Hang on, which are we? We're 6 and 2. Ah, so we want to uh, hit. 6 plus 2 plus uh, 4 is 12. So we need to hit. And we bust, we got 22. Now you see, the house usually wins in blackjack. Which makes it very difficult, but I'll go for one more hand. Uh, an 8 and a Queen, we need to stand on that. So let's see if they go bust. Oh no, they got 20. Like I say, the house has a massive advantage in Blackjack. Should we waste 50 more chips? Or should we waste 100 see if we can get back what we've just lost? Oh, well there we go, look, we've got a Blackjack. Not too bad. So if we quit now. Look, we made 200 chips because we got a Blackjack. So we've come out with a profit. So that's Blackjack for you. And you can also do the game where uh, you go to the Temple of Trials. I'm not sure how to start that though unless it's here. 
Now I'm terrible at this, but if you can practice, then by all means, give it a go. And this is, if you're good at this, because it's based on skill, then chances are you're going to uh, do the best at this than any of the other games. See, look, I'm rubbish. I just can't control two characters at once. I can barely control one at once. Yeah, I'm going to leave that for now. I'm not going to bother wasting any more chips on that. But yeah, collect loads of chips or buy chips. You don't have to actually win them uh, if you don't want to gamble. If you're worried about losing everything. Show a quick go at the slot machine before we finish off the episode. Allow me to give you a crash course. Okay. Alright, sounds good. Ah, interesting. So we want Mega Mode for double or nothing, is it? Alright, oh, sounds a bit confusing, especially since I'm just whizzing through everything. Should we give it a go and see what happens? Right, uh, okay, so we place our bets. Let's just go for 10 for now. And it is just completely random, of course. Oh, we get nothing. Oh, we got three diagonally there. Now oh, that's interesting. Looks like we won something. Oh, we're back up to 1,230 chips. Oh, we've got two sevens and three. Look, we're actually winning quite a bit here. Slot machines aren't like this in real life. Oh, nothing that time. One more time. Problem with these is they do get addictive, don't they? Go on, one more then. Okay, okay, just one more. Honestly, I don't gamble in real life. But I don't mind here, seeing as how it's just uh, virtual currency. But anyway, that's the slot machine, so there's a uh, pontoon as well, was it? And... Yeah, that's it, that's four games then, isn't it? including the Temple of Trials. So we'll have a look at pontoon another day, because we need to finish up now. Uh, thank you very much for joining me, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. We've finished all the optional stuff we need to do for now, so we'll be cracking on with story from next time. Please subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to rate this video up, that really supports me. And post a comment as well, let me know what you guys think. I've been your host Fuzzfinger once again and I'll see you next time for more Nino Cooney. Take care folks, I'm gone. <laughs>